Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for a quick video for three quick and easy meals for during the work week because if you're anything like us, we are absolutely nuts during the week. Crazy nuts. The first recipe is going to be a shredded chicken. Um, it's like a shredded cheesy taco chicken that you can put in a tortilla, in a burrito bowl. It's really good. Sometimes I'll put it on a salad. Um, the second recipe is going to be um, just my standard roast recipe, but it's like my secret ingredient roast recipe for the crock pot. The third recipe is going to be the one that I make for you guys tonight, and that is our air fryer pesto chicken. All right, let's hop on into the recipes. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. First recipe is as simple as it gets. I just dumped three chicken breasts into my crock pot here. Set it on low, I'm just gonna season it with my Nature Seasons, which is like my generic seasoning that I use on everything. And then after I add the Nature Seasons, I will go in and add a can of the Fiesta Nacho Cheese Soup. This is really yummy, and this is what makes it kinda cheesy and creamy. If you guys decide to try your own hand at any of these recipes, I would love if you guys tagged me on Twitter, Instagram. I'll leave my hand handle down below for you guys. Um, but I love seeing you guys try my recipes at home. So there you guys saw me add some um, pico. Honestly, it was just some of the pico that I got from Costco and I just do enough to cover the chicken. And there I'm adding in that Fiesta Nacho Cheese Soup and I just kind of mix it all together and make sure that it is coated evenly and then I set it on low and I think this sat on low you guys for probably about seven or eight hours total. After I got home from work I just added a little bit of sour cream and some Fiesta shredded cheese and I shredded the chicken up and mixed it all together. This next recipe is my secret roast recipe, and I use secret very loosely. Um, I'm just mixing up some chicken broth here. I actually use beef broth most of the time, but I was out of beef broth, so I used chicken in place of that, and it turned out just fine. But I just do that, a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, Worcestershire, soy sauce, and then chopped onion. And then I just kind of mix around the broth again, put the roast in, and I will put that on low for just about eight to nine hours. And this is the final product. You guys, this roast is amazing. I always like getting a beef chuck roast. It's a little bit fattier. And I find that it just cooks nicer overall and it has a better texture um, after it's done cooking in the crock pot all day. I like to make a gravy from the leftover juices from the roast. This is the best gravy and I can do gluten-free flour with this. Uh, tonight all I had was the whole wheat flour so that's what I'm adding here is whole wheat flour and I'm just kind of eyeing it. I did about three tablespoons like heaping tablespoons. I whisked that together. I ended up adding a little bit of water because it got too thick um, but I really just I just wing it here and I, I eye it. With this meal, I did serve it with mashed cauliflower. This is our favorite way to make a more of a hearty meal, um, low carb, and it's still very satisfying. It's a great comfort food. 
Uh, you could cut out the corn if you wanted it to be more, more low carb, um, but this does the trick for us. My last recipe that I'm sharing with you guys today is the pesto chicken that we make in the air fryer. Now I have three chicken breasts thawed out here. I'm just placing them directly into that air fryer pan. I use these little half sticks of butter, but I put butter and pesto on top of that chicken and I do about two tablespoons of each for each chicken breast. the side on this meal we are just doing some diced russet potatoes that Mike is tossing in some avocado oil here and then we top it with a little bit of nature seasons black pepper and garlic powder Back to those chicken breasts, I'm just seasoning with a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then I go ahead and I place the butter on top of each chicken breast, which again, I do two tablespoons per chicken breast. Um, this does mostly melt off uh, during the cook time, but it leaves behind a very yummy glaze. And then you're just going to stick that chicken directly into the air fryer. Again, the air fryer doesn't use any sort of oil. This is just like an alternative oven, really. We just like the way that the chicken turns out. But you put it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes on the chicken setting in the air fryer. And that will get you the best chicken ever. I like to top mine with a little bit of aroma tomato, fresh aroma tomato. And then my very own secret ranch recipe, which is really runny in this video, but it thickens up after you refrigerate it. I had just freshly made it in this video, but I'll have that recipe coming for you guys as well. It is seriously the best ranch recipe ever. you guys well that is going to wrap it up for today's video I hope you enjoyed those three recipes they're quick they're easy and they are staples in our household sometimes we'll lighten up the carbs um, sometimes we'll heavy up the carbs the sides are really the sky is the limit as far as the sides if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know you like it share it on your socials I would really love it be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 12. Okay, bye guys.